Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So tonight we're working on this uh, autometric uh, motor mount plate and uh, so we had a, a little boo-boo that we, uh, Mr. Bozo came to town so uh, we're plugging a couple of holes uh, that got put in the wrong place. So uh, got quite a few comments on it uh, which was cool. You guys are interested in seeing this repair um, and I think I said it before it's uh, you know it's just part of the work uh, uh, you know, if that was a plate for a customer, um, you know, and it had to be particular, I would have scrapped it and made a new one. Uh, but for me, yeah, okay, I don't like the fact that it's got a couple extra holes in it, but we can plug them and uh, it'll be perfectly functional. Um, and, you know, making these kinds of repairs is an important part of, uh, of uh, the types of the work that we do. Anyway, um, so there's a couple of a couple of comments that came through that uh, made me think about this thing a little bit and, uh, and I'll show you why uh, in a minute here. Um, one has to do with the, uh, um, the two diameters that we're trying to plug. It's kind of a counterbore. Um, and um, what was the other one? Um, oh, the other one was the amount of press fit that I chose. And I looked at that again and it was a little too much. So, uh, you know, I just kind of pulled those out of my ear. And, after I had a chance to think about it a little bit, I backed off on the uh, the, uh, the amount of interference between the two parts. So, uh, so hopefully that'll help, and um, um, we put it together and uh, and do it. So we'll get to try the new Arbor Press, which is cool, and um, and um, and my new invention, uh, the aluminum magnet. So you guys will get to see that too. So uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, let's uh, let's suit up and. Uh, Let's go uh, measure some holes and show you what I'm talking about and uh, make some plugs and get this thing back to square one. <laughs> All right. So a viewer comment kind of got me uh, thinking about uh, something here. And um, I'll show you something here in just a second. So I'm getting this indicated in using the new black face indicator here. And uh, I've got a little piece of... Uh, floor uh, kind of uh, matte floor protective film over it uh, to reduce the glare so anyway uh, I've already got it dialed in I just uh, wanted to demo that uh, indicator so what I'm doing is I'm picking up the center of this and uh, let me zero that before I forget um, so here's here's uh, what uh, Jay got me thinking about so when I, when I drilled these holes out, these have a particular center here, right? And then when I counterbored them, I just dropped a drill through there and then ran the, uh, you know, the 7 8 end mill down to create the counterbore. So I didn't take any particular care to make those concentric. So what Jay was saying is he's like, wow, he says, uh, you know, you're press fitting two diameters um, and, uh, you know, I hope they're concentric, right? And so I'm like, oh, you know what? That's a really good point. And uh, so what I did was I actually checked one. And um, so I got a pin that fits pretty good. And then I got another pin here that I can slip in along the side. And you see it went in real easy right there. Well, on the other side, it's tighter, tight, tight, flies in, kind of goes in. Okay, so I, I have a little bit of a, a concentricity. Actually, duh, I got the indicator. Um, let's just, just for ha-has. Oh, oops, put the indicator on it here. So I can actually quantify it. All right, I'm still in neutral here. Let's make sure I'm on zero. Back to zero. I bumped the handle a little bit. All right. Now this dial is a little harder to turn. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah. So let's see. What is that? One, one and a half. Maybe a half there. And then uh, it's bumping two there. Okay, so I, so I have a little concentricity issue between the the through hole and the counterbore. So that's that's a problem for pr 
doing a stepped pin that's that's a press fit in both sides okay so um, so how do, we, how do we fix that well of course there's always a way to fix it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, I'm zeroed up on the hole so what I'm gonna do is get the boring head out and just take you know I don't know a couple thousandths off of that till it just cleans up while I'm concentric with the bore and uh, that will make that uh, the larger the counter bore concentric with the through hole and then when I make a a stepped plug like this I can get it in there and not have it uh, get part way and then uh, you know stop on the edge of the hole because they're kind of offset from one another so uh, let me get the boring head set up and we'll take a little scrape out of there and you know we're just going to take a two thousandths three thousandths out of there something like that and uh, just enough to clean it up and um, then we can make our plugs so good spot on that Jay that uh, got me thinking about that one okay so we're kind of kind of set up here and wipe the inside of that out so what I'm gonna do is just so I know I'm just kind of scraping it all the way around I'll just blew it up a little bit and uh, so I've already set the uh, the quill DRO um, at uh, zero on the bottom so we're using my uh, my little boring head here. Let's see how fast? Yeah, okay, this will work. Now let's just take a little, a little scrape out of there. You know what? This seems vibrating a little bit. That's better. Uh, the mill had a little vibration that I didn't like. So I'm just hand feeding this. Alright. Come back out of there. I think that's it. That was just a couple a couple thousands. Boy, I'm using these new uh uh, Toolmaker Air uh, ones that uh, oh who the heck sent me those um, shoot I can't remember now um, anyway they got a lot more pressure than the other ones ouch all right oh Dennis uh, Dennis Skurb sent me those yeah that's what <laughs> I couldn't quite remember who sent me those right out of the okay so that's uh, that's about all we're gonna take out of there and then I'll remeasure that hole and uh, so now we're nice and concentric. Uh, with the uh, with the through hole, so I'll go ahead and do this one. I'm not going to show both of them. Um, you, you guys get the idea. And just a reminder, we want to leave this edge nice and sharp for our plug. Because when we press our plug and we mill this off, we don't want a line to show there uh, when we clear that off flush with that. Anyway, this is just you know part of this. We're showing uh, how to make a a decent uh, a decent repair. Okay. All right. So let me do this one. We'll make some plugs and let's move on. <laughs> Alright, so we got some uh, one inch aluminum here and uh, we're going to make a couple of pluggies. Let's get a little closer. Uh, that's 
9900. Actually, let's do this. Go ahead and turn off the, uh, the front part down to our pilot diameter. Closer. Sure, let's go 530. Leave a little bit on that. Yeah, you know, these lengths don't matter too much right now. Uh, I just want them longer than the thickness of the plate. That shoulder. Let's see how warm this is. Okay, it's not warm. Let's go ahead and finish it now. Uh, All right. Okay, 8852, 8852, okay, that'll work. But what we're gonna do, let me check that. Trust but verify, all right? Okay, I'm about 503, 502.8, okay. All right, um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn a short little, a little step on here that's the diameter that will actually fit through the pilot bore and that just helps align the plug as it goes in. So I've got plenty of length here. I'm just going to go back and turn about a hundred thousandths. Like that. Alright. So just a little just a little lead in diameter there and I'll probably do, I'm going to do the same there. Just a little one. Like that, okay. And now I'll break those edges. Here, like that. Okay. So as it starts to go in the bore that part can fit actually and uh, and helps it get started correctly so that's the little one of the little tricks I was going to show you guys all right so let's let's knock this thing off all right I'm using a high speed tool here 
for aluminum, just because I like that for aluminum parting. One plug, and uh, I'll, this side's going to get milled off, so I'll just belt sand that little pip off of there. Take that edge off. This is kind of warm now. Um, make one more, and then we'll go press them in. Okay, so we're over here on the arbor press, and uh, I think we're ready. And we got our plugs that we're going to put in. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to warm this plate up, maybe I don't know, 150, 200 degrees, something like that, maybe a little bit more, and uh, then we're going to we're going <laughs> to shove a plug in. Okay, um, it's important that the uh, um, you know when this is hot and this is cool okay that as soon as you bring them together as soon as you bring them into contact with one another the heat wants to transfer from the hot to the cold right so this starts to expand very quickly so you got to move pretty quick here so once we uh, uh, we get in the hole and uh, and get set up bang oh we gotta we gotta push it in or uh, you don't kinda get a second chance at it so uh, <laughs> Might hear some cursing here, uh, but I hope not. So let's uh, let's warm this up. going to put the tiniest bit of oil in there. All right, use my special aluminum magnet. Okay, let's get lined up on the world here. Okay, here we go, boys. Yeah, that's it. Oop, hey, that's hot. <laughs> anyway, you see, I wasn't messing around. Once it touched, bang oh, I went. All right, so rinse and repeat, and uh, I think we're uh, we're pretty good. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Okay. Hang on. 
hot. <laughs> okay, so we get those things pressed in there now. And you can see this is the small end had come through. And, uh, and here's, the, here's the big end there. And those are, those are pretty tight. Um, I rethought that uh, press fit and I backed it off. So they had about uh, a little over one, you know, maybe up to one and a half thousandths press. But the press was in two places. It was a small diameter and a large diameter. So I probably could have gone even lighter, maybe a half a thousandths to one thousandths on both. And, uh, and it still would have went together okay. This was a, a little bit tight, so I'll admit that. And uh, so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and mill this stuff off and get a nice flat surface again. And uh, yeah, I have to change the camera. Let me change the camera around and then we'll, uh, we'll do that part. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to come down and we're going to zero here on this surface just gently, right in the vicinity of where we're working there. I'm going to zero the quill, then I'm going to come up a few thousandths, and then we'll, we'll mow that off. Get a little, uh, little juice on it there. Okay, then we'll come down a little bit more, and we're just going to leave a we're just going to leave a few thousands. Okay, blow that out of the way. You guys can see. So I'm still about seven over the top. I'm going to drop down to about I don't know three or two if I can get away with it. There's three. Alright, that's three. Yeah, I think that's it. And I'll show you why. And pop up. Okay. Because there's distortions in the plate, and you see it just caught outside that circle a little bit. So that's as far as I'm going to go, and then I'll sand that off. Okay. Okay, so we're over on the other side now. We'll do one of the big ones and I'll come up right close to it and just get a gentle touch off. Then I'm going to come up about, I don't know, 20 or something like that. If I can cheat it down a little more, oop, that's a half a thou, that's a little close. No, it's, it's not scratching, so let's just try it. Better to leave it a, a whisker proud than uh, dig in at all, okay? So that's just the general rule for this kind of stuff. Um, you know, if you got some material, you can do something with it. If you're, you come up short, you just come up short. <laughs> 
Okay, so let me finish those up and then I'll show you the last bit of how to blend that in so that it's a, a pretty much invisible repair. Okay, so we get these, these milled off nice and close on both sides. And then we're just going to blend them in. And this is a, oops, set it down on some crud there, Mr. Wizard. Uh, we're just going to blend it in with a, this is a 120 grit uh, random orbital. And that'll blend these in real nice and give us a kind of a uniform finish on the whole piece. Okay, so I'm not going to bore you with three hours of sanding there, but you get the idea. There's, there's where it was or is, and you know, if I, it's pretty hard to see. If you catch it just right in the light, you can see kind of a circle, but if I blend that a little bit more, uh, it'll, uh, it'll go away. So let's try one of the, one of the low riders here. You get the idea. So those that disappeared. I got a little bit more there. I'll probably just go over the plate a little bit, um, and then huh, we're finally back to drilling our new holes. So uh, we've recovered from our uh, our misplaced holes, and uh, now we just got to find the right ones. Anyway, thanks for watching that. <laughs>